But you've got it on your side. No, well, it doesn't come through yet. Kings Leon at Isle of Wight Radio. Hello, good morning. It's uh, Paul and Hayley here and Charlotte's this morning. We're on Facebook Live if you want to uh, to join us uh, on there. I do, I do not know what's happening. Oh, I have I no not. idea no. whatsoever because so far, here are the scores. Monday, Jamie won. <laughs> Tuesday, Jamie didn't just win, he obliterated us. He wiped the floor. It's embarrassing. What is Wednesday, our hope is that Charlotte's going to be rubbish so that we can be victorious. <laughs> Headline or hearsay here in just a couple of minutes time on Isle of Wight Radio. Are we nearly ready? Almost. Almost. Okay. <laughs> I've got a really good idea though. So I'll be okay. back in 30 seconds. So. Uh, okay. Well, ready to beat you, obviously. Yeah, I, but Not that I'm prepared to No beat. rush. It's, no it's, rush. It's, it's, it's fine. What <laughs> We, we just talk, talk talk amongst ourselves while oh, she's out there. Actually, one of the stories that popped up the other day, I did see and I was like, oh, when we said it was false, which is about the, um, you know, the karaoke, karaoke songs not being re-licensed. Oh, and yes. And I read it and I was like, there was literally like Adele, Abba. I thought, why would you not? So they're not going to be. They're, they're not completely not renewing the license to, to karaoke. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Who would not want you and I, after a few drinks, <laughs> singing their piece of work? At least an Adele number. In a, in a pub. I mean, I, I can't see why these artists would get so uppity about it's it. It's shocking. Yeah. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Uh, morning to uh, Elizabeth, who uh, joined us on Facebook this morning. Are we ready? Let's do it. It's time for today's headline or hearsay, yeah? Yep. Let's do it. A woman who came obsessed with a man she'd met through online dating went to extreme lengths to get his attention. After the date, she said to have not heard from the man, so the 30-year-old decided to go to his house, but when she couldn't get an answer, climbed onto the roof and down the chimney. Unfortunately, the only people she did attract the attention of were search and rescue crews after she got stuck. Needless to say, there was no spark and they certainly weren't a match. Is that the headline or hearsay? I like what you did <laughs> yes, there. Yeah. No, no sparks certainly weren't a match. Yeah, very good. Uh, so Rachel thinks that's a headline. <laughs> Hayley says uh, headline that's this a morning. That's a cracking story. <laughs> Rachel says headline. It's like the. Uh, did you read the story about the uh, the 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 person that they went on a date? I won't go into the full detail of this, but let's just say uh, the the uh, the female went to use the bathroom, and uh, the toilet didn't work, and um, yeah. let. This she, was at his she, house, wasn't it? Yeah, she ended up getting stuck between two panes of glass <laughs> when things went horribly wrong. Very awkward. Orcs. That sounded massive. like the worst date ever. The thing yeah. is that, if you haven't heard back from them, clearly they're not interested. No, I think they are still seeing each other. Maybe you just didn't have signal. <laughs> you know? Yeah, These maybe. things happen. Yeah. Uh, ben thinks it's hearsay. Uh, David says hearsay. Keith says headline. Are we going headline or hearsay, Hayley? I think headline. We're going headline this morning. It's a headline. There we go. Oh. Yes. Oh. One to us. We're on a roll. <laughs> We're on a roll. Let's not. But I wrote the last line, just saying. Oh. That was very good. <laughs> well, the, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Just yeah. extra praise. Yeah, that's, there we go. that's, that's <laughs> fine. Not, not that I'm no right. points, but very, very, <laughs> very creative. Okay. Right, let's do the second one. Okay. You might want to think twice about the biscuits you buy leading up to Halloween. Supermarkets are joining in with the fearful fun by hiding surprises in their own branded products. Among the ones to watch out for are spiders in cereals, pumpkin scented potatoes and custard creams with a gooey green centre. Only they've decided not to tell us which packaging they're in. All products are perfectly safe to eat though and there's a list of which barcodes to watch out for. Is that a headline or hearsay? Hmm. What Crafty. A, what a... What a, what a very clever idea. Yeah, I like it. Gooey custard cream. They're not real spiders, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a packet of sweets, there's like a jelly spider in there. Brilliant. Uh, that'd be in the cereals, yeah. Oh, in the cereals. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. That's quite a lot of detail Depends there. what kind of gooey custard cereal cream is. Keith thinks it's hearsay. Derek says hearsay. Um, Keith says hearsay. Abby says hearsay. 
David says hearsay. Everyone's saying hearsay. I think we should go and hearsay them. Okay. I don't know why I whispered. No, I don't know either. <laughs> Elizabeth thinks it's hearsay. Carly thinks it's hearsay this morning. I think it's all of our Facebook people who are really helping this morning. Definitely help us out. We are going hearsay, Charlotte. It's hearsay. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I I was drawn in by that. I thought I, I could see, yeah. yeah you were I, excited. I would have said headline. Really? Yeah, I would have said headline. I thought headline it was a great idea. That. Yeah, it is a good idea. Mm. And it was the when I said about the jelly spiders in sweets and it was Oh, I always Charlotte, give it away. Charlotte was what like, oh no, it's in cereal. Mm. A little bit too much detail there. <laughs> Never mind. The final I hate one. this bit because I've already lost. <laughs> let's, do, here we are. let's do one for fun, for fun, shall we? Why not? The owner of a yellow car has been accused of photobombing one of Britain's most picturesque views. Photographers who visited the Cotswold village took to Twitter to complain after their work was being ruined by the ugly yellow car. The owner of the bright yellow Vauxhall Corsa claims he has nowhere else to park the banana mobile. The 73-year-old has warned those complaining that if they carry on, he'll buy an even bigger car, a lime green one. Is that headline or hearsay? A fruity tail. <laughs> this is brilliant. Why should he have to move? Yeah. Why should he have to move? To be fair, cars that are abandoned on the Isle of Wight, you know, yeah. trying to get those things moved. Mm-hmm. Almost impossible. I don't know what you have to do. <laughs> don't get me started on. Don't get <laughs> yeah. me started on people. Who is it that abandons their car and just walks away from it Leaves and it. thinks that that's acceptable? I did do that once, though. So not. To, I didn't leave it only overnight because the thing wouldn't start. Oh, so you know when you get well, very that, frustrated. That's all right. I'm talking about a car down our road. It's been there for two years. Oh no! Oh, really? No tax. Let's get some butter. Yeah, I'm guessing because it's got no tax. It's got no insurance. Reported it, nothing's happened. Really? Don't get me started on people parking Ooh. cars. Anyway, headline or hearsay? I think that's definitely a headline. Do you think? Definitely, 100%. Because I would get quite narky if someone kept moaning about me parking. Heather says headline, Keith says headline, Carly says headline, Elizabeth says headline. The consensus is headline for the ultimate win today. Everybody's on form today. Is we that... are going headline. Oh, it's a headline. Oh. Yay. Oh. Poor old Charlotte's Gosh. let the whole team down. You're going to lose, oh. you know, do it properly. Isn't well, it? exactly. Well, yeah. <laughs> lose with some style. Yeah. Clean sweep <sighs> from us. Thank you to everybody on Facebook uh, this morning. We'll do it again. Uh, I'm not here tomorrow, but uh, Glyn will do it again with Hayley. Same time, same place. Let's get some more tunes on. Latest travel news for the Isle of Wight and your news headlines are next after Shania Twain at Isle of Wight Radio.